holidays and welcome to Deepa Tonight I'm preparing my paleo brownies and they are in honor of my friend Scott Weiner from Minersville, Pennsylvania because he just loves ghee. All right, so let's get started. Oh, I want to let you know that um, I'm going to be having some very special guests at the end of my little cooking thing here and we're going to eat these the freaking delicious brownies. All right, so what you do is you start out with one cup of almond butter, okay? So you want to get, and almond butter is such a, it's so creamy and it's what actually creates the texture. Now, I'll tell you this, um, one time I made the mistake of, of, of mixing everything up in a bowl and then taking it to a friend's house and then putting them in the oven when I got there and that uh, is not how you do things because what happens is the oil separates from everything because there's no flour to bind the ingredients so the oil separated and so the brownies came out like real crisp cookies and I was extremely extremely upset so all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to add one third cup of maple syrup one third cup here and I'm telling you right now Betty Crocker and Duncan Hines don't have shit on these these are undamn real next we're gonna have at our two teas tablespoons of wiener ghee and that is an organic clarified butter all right and we'll add one egg one whole egg And then one teaspoon of vanilla. I learned my lesson last time when I made my kale dish to get all my stuff out of the way instead of leaving it all right here. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with a whisk, we're gonna whisk all this together. Whisk and whisk, whisk, whisk. That's pretty tough with that almond butter. But I'm telling you, it's so good. All right, and lastly, what we're gonna do is we're going to add oops, should have opened up my cocoa powder. One third cup cocoa powder. Oh, hello, Sam, and I see Salmon's decided to make an appearance. One third cup of cocoa powder. One half teaspoon of baking soda. Let's stir everything in there. Now I've already got my oven preheated to 325, just to let everybody know. So is everybody ready for Christmas? I know I am. I am so ready. I've been out shopping. I've been out running around like a chicken with his head cut off all damn week. I love it. Like, this is like my favorite time of year. All right, now lastly, what we're going to do is I like to add orange zest. I mean, orange zest makes everything great. So add a whole a zest of one whole orange and mix it all up. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a spatula or a spoon. <laughs> Get most of it off of the whisk here. Well, here, I'll just dump it in here. This is our pan. You don't even have to grease your pan. All right. And then we're going to pour our ingredients into this pan. Like an eight by eight. Get it all out here. <laughs> I promise you it's worth the work to make these. And then just kind of spread everything out in the pan. 
and it will spread and it, it will seem thin but I'm gonna tell you that they're so these are the most moist brownies you'll ever eat So spread them out real good in that pan and then we're gonna bake our brownies for 20 to 23 minutes at 325 degrees and we're back to D for Rick and Luscious. Ho, ho, ho. Just to let you know, my shirt says I've been good all year long, but it's got the cross fingers in the back. So, hello, we're here. To, these are my beautiful girlfriends, Hillary and Catherine. Hello. <laughs> Santa says photo ho, ho, ho. And we're going to taste the brownies. So go ahead, Hillary. Catherine, take a brownie. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. That is delicious. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my very, God. very good. Mm. And I promise you, we haven't been drinking that much wine, <laughs> and they ain't lying. No, so, anyways, that is awesome. Love theirs. Thank you, thank you. They're melting your mouth for sure. Oh my god. Yeah. And I can taste the orange. Mm -hmm. Like that orange peel. Like, like this is the first time. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. D freaking delicious. Hail to the yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm so glad that y'all mm. enjoyed them. Mm. Yeah, that's what I, I, I taste the aftertaste. Of yeah. The I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And like I said, like my page, D file Rick and Licious. I got tons of recipes and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and happy holidays everyone.